All right, it's time to talk a little bit about the project. You've probably seen the question. So the first question is all about writing your name in block letters in Desmos. So hopefully you've been using Desmos throughout the course, but I wanted to just outline a little bit to help you get started. So um, all of you will write your first name in block letters. If you want to use a nickname, that's fine, so long as the nickname is at least four letters in length, just so that's um, more fair. And then I was just going to talk about, you know, what that might look like and how we begin with Desmos. So I'm just going to try writing the word hi. Maybe I'll just even do an H. I think that will be enough to get us started here. So I'm drawing what a block H would look like to me. Your block H could definitely look different. So there's not really a right or wrong way to do a block letter. The idea is just that it would be like, um, more than just this kind of H, right? That's what I would imply by a block letter. And that H that I just drew can easily be built in Desmos um, by punching in a couple uh, horizontal and vertical lines and restricting the domain or range of those lines. So let's start by talking about this left side of the H. Oops, I'll choose a different color so you can see a little bit. This is a vertical line, so we know a vertical line has an equation of x equals a number. And based on my scaling, I'm going to suppose that that x value is 2. So I'm going to say x equals 2 would generate that purple line. But without any, any restrictions, that line continues indefinitely, bottom to top. So I need to add on a restriction for the y values so that it doesn't go on forever bottom to top. So it looks like I started it at a y value of 2, and then I capped it off at the top here. Let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That would be an upper y value of 9. So I could just bound y between 2 and 9, and that would get that line to stop to be a line segment rather than a line with arrows on both sides. So that would be a start to my h. Then let's talk about this kind of top piece of my h. That's now a horizontal line. So horizontal lines look like y equals a number. And the number that I'm going to use is 9, because it's, again, at the top of my h, where the y value is 9. And I only want it to go for a very small interval of x values. Particularly, I start it when x is 2, and I stop it very quickly when x is 3. So now my restraint is in the x direction, so that my horizontal line does not continue indefinitely left to right. So I'll just cap it between 2 and 3. Similar approach for sure for the bottom of my H. So um, you guys can tell down here, this will be almost identical to what we just wrote. We just have to swap out the 9 for 2 to get that bottom piece. But the same restrictions on X will work. So there will be a lot of copy and pasting element to this game. Um, then I would probably move towards uh, the inside pieces here which are going to be back to vertical lines. So those will be vertical lines at x equals 3. And then I'll use two different bounds. Um, I'll go ahead and say first from a y value of 6 to 9 to get that upper piece. And then for my lower piece, I went from 2 to 5. So feel free to follow along in Desmos just to make sure you kind of are tracking with each of these pieces as I'm writing them here. But I bet you'd be able to finish out your H using this approach. So H is a pretty friendly letter. A lot of the alphabet letters are friendly. Um, all I mean by that is they truly can be built from vertical or horizontal pieces. You won't even need slanted lines or curved lines. But I'll do a separate video where I talk a little bit more about curved lines. So this is just the introduction to what it's going to look like to write your name in block letters in Desmos. The next video I'll be on Desmos and then I'll probably do one more talking about some curved letters. So let me know what you think. I'm so excited to see what you all come up with. Be creative, make it your own. Um, have a good time.